Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, or Across the Spider-Verse, I should say, comes out in a theater near you. When? It's this summer. Uh, but really, I wanted to talk about uh, Two Boy Duel, by the way. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Across the Spider-Verse because uh, I saw some tweets online and some articles that... Uh, potential spoilers, by the way. So if you don't want any spoilers for this movie, then I suggest you click off of this video right now. Okay, cool. We're going to keep keep talking about it. That's, that's your warning. So yeah, I've been seeing some clips online and I don't even know... I don't know how true it is. It could just be a rumor. It could be fake. I don't know. But most likely, it's somewhat true but it's a rumor as of right now is that there will be live action elements in, in across the spider-verse which means that miles could be traveling to live action at some point um which is interesting because this is the theory that i had um and i think i did a video on this a long time ago is that um by the end by the end of the spider-verse movies uh like so this is part one the first part of the across the spider-verse movie um, and then we'll get a second part probably in what I think next year two years I don't remember but it, it, it after this and after all of the you know all the three parts come out um, Or the three movies are out and it's done Miles will probably get teleported to the live-action universe at the very end and that's how he'll be introduced as live-action That's just my theory. I could be completely wrong on that um, so what I'm curious about is these live these live action segments that will appear in across the spider-verse are they canon and If if they are like what's in these scenes who are who is in these scenes and what are they doing in these scenes? Right, so if we're talking Tom Toby Andrew are they like is he visiting like? During certain events after no way home before no way home in between no way home in between their movies like in between amazing spider-man 1 and 2 Maybe after Amazing Spider-Man 2 or Spider-Man 2. Like, we don't know. It could be anywhere in the timeline. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to be after the events of No Way Home. And my hope is that most likely Tom Holland will be in this movie. Like, I almost a guarantee. 99.9% .9 sure. What I don't know is about Toby and Andrew. And that's usually how it goes with this. Is with these smaller cameos, we probably won't know. I would, I would lean on the side that they're probably going to be in the movie maybe not even live action segments they might not even show they might just have voices and their characters will just be animated which would also be really cool either way um but yeah and i also don't know if the live action segments are going to tie into madam web or craven or venom 3 or anything of that nature we just we just don't know uh i think it would be a smart move to try tie it into madam web even though i don't think madam web is going to be good I could be completely wrong on that, but I, I just don't. I don't think it's going to be good. But I could see Sony plugging that in there as a way to tie. Uh, oh, look, it's all connected. All the Spider-Men are here. Ooh, you know. Um, so I really I really don't know what that's going to end up looking like. But I guess we'll have to see what we see. Um, I think it would be cool if, um, you know, the way that I, the way that I envision it happening is sort of like a, a sort of like a Doctor Strange two situation where Miles is like teleporting through all these different dimensions like all at once within like a, a ten second period and he ends up landing in the the live action universe for like maybe a minute and he's like oh and you see Tom Holland and he's just swinging around and oh hey what's up Tom and then you know same thing maybe Toby or Andrew where he's just swinging through and he interacts with Toby or Andrew maybe all three of them at once that would be pretty cool. Um, but I, I don't know. I, that's just my guess. I don't think they're, they're like full. They're going to be full actual like plots like No Way Home. I don't see it like that. There's just too many Spider-Man characters for them to include every single Spider-Man and make every single plot point that these these characters have mean something to the uh, traditional plot of the or it's not the traditional the like the full plot of Across the Spider-Verse. Like I just I don't see that happening. It's just going to be like a fan moment, uh, a, a nice cheer in the theater moment. Um, but that's pretty much about it. Um, but I could be wrong. We'll see what they do. That's pretty much all I got. I don't have much else to say. I kept it short. So anyways, if you're, if you're already here and you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.